Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 10 on infinite series. In this lecture, we will discuss about Rabe's test. So first we understand what is Rabe's test and then we will do some example related to Rabe's test. So Rabe's test is also applicable with a series with positive terms. So suppose sigma an is a series with positive terms. And suppose that limit of n times a n divided by a n plus 1 minus 1 equal to say capital L. So we are interested in the limit of this n times a n divided by a n plus 1 minus 1. And suppose limit has value capital L then the series is convergent if L is greater than 1 series is divergent if l is less than 1 and the test fails if l equal to 1. So to apply Rabe's test first we will decide that what is the limit of n times a n divided by a n plus 1 minus 1 and depending on the value of limit we have different possibilities if limit is greater than 1 series is convergent if limit is less than 1 series is divergent and the test is inconclusive if limit is 1. So we consider one example investigate the convergence of the series 1 by 2 plus 1 into 3 divided by 2 into 4 then 1 into 3 into 5 divided by 2 4 6 and so on. So here uh, we have to first decide what is the nth term of this series. So we can see in each term we are considering one more odd term. Here we have only one odd term in the multiplication. Here we have two odd terms 1 and 3 in the product. Here we have three odd terms 1, 3 and 5 in the product. So uh, if we wish we can write down the nth term in this way suppose we consider a plus n minus 1 into d if we consider arithmetic progression then a is 1 that is first term and d is difference between these two so it is 2n minus 1 so this is equal to 1 plus 2n minus 2 that is 2n minus 1 so we can write uh, in the numerator that we have to go 1 into 3 into 5 up to 2n minus 1. For example, for n equal to 1, here we will have 1. For n equal to 2, we have 2 into 2, 4 minus 1, 3. For n equal to 3, we will have 2 into 3, 6 minus 1, which is 5. Similarly, here also uh, we have arithmetic progression but with a equal to 2. So, we have 2 plus n minus 1 into 2 which is 2 plus 2n minus 2 that is 2n. So, in the denominator we can write 2, 4, 6 up to 2n. So, this is the nth term of given series an equal to 1, 3, 5, 7, 2n minus 1 over 2, 4, 6, 8 up to 2n. So here it is clear that all the terms are positive. So this given series is a series with positive terms. So we can try Rabe's test. Now for Rabe's test we find out limit of n times an divided by an plus 1 minus 1. So we will find out limit of this quantity as n tending to infinity. So for that first we decide what is n plus 1th term. So that we obtain by replacing n by n plus 1 in the nth term. So now a n plus 1 equal to here we have 1 3 5 7 and so on. 1 into 3 into 5 into 7 last term is 2n minus 1 in that we replace n by n plus 1 so 2n minus 1 is replaced by 
टू टेंस एन प्लस वन माइनस वन इन द डिनोमिनेटर वी हैव टू फोर सिक्स अप टू टू एन सो हियर टू इंटू फोर इंटू सिक्स इंटू एट एंड सो वन टू टेंस एन प्लस वन एन इज रिप्लेस बाय एन प्लस वन सो दिस वी सिंपलीफाई वन इंटू थ्री इंटू फाइव इंटू सेवन दिस इज गोइंग टू बी टू एन प्लस टू माइनस वन सो टू एन प्लस टू माइनस वन एंड टू माइनस वन इज वन सो हियर वी राइट टू एन प्लस वन एंड हियर वी हैव टू फोर सिक्स एट एंड सो वन हियर वी हैव टू एन प्लस टू सो दिस इज एन प्लस वन टर्म If we wish, we can write uh, one term before this and one term before this, because we will require the ratio. So uh, we write one, three, five, seven. The term which is previous to two n plus one can be obtained by subtracting two from two n plus one, because difference of each term in the product. Difference of any two successive terms is two, so the term which is before or preceding to this two n plus one can be obtained by subtracting two from two n plus one. So we have two n plus one minus two, that is two n minus one. So we write one more term before the last term, two n minus one times two n plus one. Here also we write one term before two n plus two. So if we subtract two from two n plus two, we will have two n. Now we find out ratio of a n and a n plus one. So our a n is one three five seven. Let me check what is n up to two n minus one. And here two four six eight up to two n into one over a n plus one. So we take reciprocal of this. This numerator we write in the denominator one three five seven. And so on, two n minus one times two n plus one, and this we write in the denominator two four six eight up to two n times two n plus two. So now we can see all these terms will cancel out. One will cancel out with one three with three five with five seven with seven. This will also cancel out with two n minus one. Similarly, two four six eight, two four six eight, two n will cancel out here, and we are left with two n plus two divided by two n plus one. So therefore, a n divided by a n plus one, this is equal to two n plus two divided by two n plus one. Now for Rabe's test, we are interested in the limit of n times a n divided by a n plus one minus one. So we simplify this and we try to find out limit as n tending to infinity. A n divided by a n plus one is two n plus two divided by two n plus one minus one. And this is in the product n times two n plus two divided by two n plus one minus one. Okay, we need to write only one bracket. Okay, fine. So we consider same bracket which we have used here. So n times a n divided by a n plus one. Minus one. 
so first we simplify the bracket terms inside the bracket so here we consider 2n plus 1 LCM and here we have 2n plus 2 minus 2n minus 1 so this is equal to limit n tending to infinity this 2n will cancel out 2 minus 1 is 1 and we have n divided by 2n plus 1 so to find out this limit we consider division of numerator and denominator by n so here n divided by n that is 1 2n plus 1 divided by n that is 2 plus 1 by n and if we consider limit as n tends to infinity we have 1 over 2 plus 0 which is 1 by 2 so this is less than 1 so our series is divergent so therefore limit of n divided by a n divided by a n plus 1 minus 1 equal to 1 by 2 which is less than 1 so therefore by Rabe's test given series is divergent if limit is greater than 1 then series is convergent so this is all about Rabe's test i hope you like this thank you very much